Well, we have seen in section 10, court of sessions, right? Now, in section 11, the era continues. Now, court of judicial magistrates. So, what it says? Basically, it has three things. Those are mentioned in section, subsection 1, 2, 3. So, don't read this, the Bayrak text as of now. I'll tell you when to read after this diagram. Okay. So, come to the straight away to the diagram. Focus on here. So, court of judicial magistrates has three things. The first thing is establishment of courts in districts and the provision of special courts and the appointment of presiding officers that is nothing but judges. Okay. So, this is how your brain remembers things. That's why these charts are, you know, called brain trees or brain charts. So the first thing is every district should have at least JMFC one court and JMSC another court. Okay. So this district does not cover in metropolitan areas. What does it mean? So metropolitan areas will have metropolitan magistrate courts. So that's why there is no conflict between this. Here the district means non-metropolitan area. If it is a metropolitan area, then instead of JMFC, there will be a metropolitan magistrate court. Clear? So these courts will be get established by state government with consultation with HC. Okay state government with consultation with HC that is high court and the place of court specified through notification <clears throat> who will this give, give this notification again the government will give, no, give notification with the consultation of con, uh, high court of that particular state <clears throat> so there is another mention of this provision of special courts so again this special uh, courts also with this regard state government in consultation with HC only established the special courts so the what the special courts do they don't try as uh, normal cases they will try a specific cases for example if there is a fraud regarding the taxation so it will go to special court okay so if a case has the jurisdiction of special court this JMFC and JMSC, Judicial Magistrate of First Class and Second Class, they do not supposed to trial the cases. So if a special court has the jurisdiction, only that court has to take the case and deal with it. Okay, that's the main thing. And coming to the third point, that is appointment of presiding officers. Here, presiding officers are nothing but churches. So, <clears throat> churches will be appointed by HC. So, this is the reason why you no know, high court conducts junior civil judge exam, not the state government, PSUs, public service commissions. Right? This is the reason. Because of this session, high court is born to conduct these exams and recruit the churches. And there are other uh, related also recruitment roles. That is the reason why High Court will conduct junior civil judge exam to recruit the judges. Okay, we'll see you in the next class. Thanks.